Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I've been watching uh, cable TV, and uh, I like cable TV. That's the better one to get. You need to get it. It's uh, very dependable. You can always depend on them to raise your rates every year. But anyways, uh, I've been watching the commercials on there again. Uh, I talked about this a little bit before, but I need to follow up on it. And watching the erectile dysfunction commercials, uh, the Cialis and uh, uh, um, Levitra and the Viagra. And uh, the Cialis and Levitra, they got a man and a woman in theirs, and uh, so that makes perfect sense. And, but uh, Viagra, uh, for some reason or another, uh, they've been misguided, and so uh, I'm going to do this commentary. Uh, dedicated to the Viagra executives to try to help you out to get your commercials squared away so you can make some more money because you ain't gonna make no money the way you're doing it. And uh, here's the reason why. See first of all, uh, on the Viagra uh, girls, they're all uh, the same. Every one of them is a brunette and uh, they all got uh, a little slinky blue uh, nightgown thing on except there's one with the football in Jersey and I'll get to her later and uh, they all say the same thing uh, starting out um, um, here's the thing sort of thing like that and then it is sort of waltz around and talk about um, erectile dysfunction and stuff and so first of all the first thing wrong with your Viagra commercials is it's got to have a man in it I mean uh, come on Viagra uh, people. Viagra is for men, not women. Uh, you got to have a man in there. All right, so that's the one thing. Um, the other thing about uh, uh, Viagra girls is they ain't getting no sex. No, they ain't getting none of it. And, uh, I, and I'll, I'll tell you why. And so uh, the other thing about them is they all have um, uh, an Australian accent. I don't know, I guess they don't have no blondes or redheads in there because the blondes have more fun and they don't need no men with Viagra, I suppose is what it is. And only that only leaves the brunettes to, to do, to don't have no sex. That's why they ain't, ha they ain't getting no sex because they're brunettes. That's the thing right there. So um, they're the ones that need to, uh, their men need the Viagra the most. So, okay. So, um we got that sort of straightened out there uh you know um blondes yeah the blondes i know had a lot more fun i was married to a redhead for 30 something years i i tell you what she had a lot of fun and i did too uh but anyhow she's a good woman i'm gonna tell you that uh so uh getting back to the viagra um and they all uh, just waltz around, walking around, flitting through the curtains and all that kind of stuff and, and talking about, uh, here's the thing, here's the thing, uh, men get erectional problems. So, uh, Viagra, this is what you need to do. You need to, first of all, you need to change your commercial layout a little bit. Uh, what you do is you... Uh, you show the girl coming out of a, of a, uh, of a bedroom, sort of dis her hair's got to be kind of messed up a little bit, and she needs to have a big old smile on her face, and uh, and then she she will say, and here's the thing, uh, and then you pan into the bedroom, and in the bedroom there'll be a guy laying there, a good, you know, good-looking guy. Always got to be good-looking in the commercials, even though it ain't true. Uh, but anyways, there'll be a guy in there falling. He's, he'd be sound asleep with a smile on his face. Okay. So now you got your your Viagra girl coming out of the bedroom with a smile on her face. You got your your handsome man sound asleep in the bed with a smile on his face, and. Uh, and the Viagra girl says, uh, here's the thing, when you use Viagra, uh, you will get rigid, hard uh, results, uh, long-lasting, and uh, like that, words like that, you see, you, got, you had to have some of those um, 
thrusting and uh, that sort of thing of um, explosion and all those kind of words in the commercial so it's a sort of a subliminal message as you see because you already got the subliminal message with him asleep I mean every man falls asleep after sex and uh, or you get him smoking a cigarette I don't pro I don't promote smoking cigarettes but anyhow sort of like that because uh, you got to have a man in there because he's the one that has to take the blue pill and uh, you know, you could have like blue is bigger or something like that uh, slogans and uh, or you know like that so and, and you and that's what you do you, you get uh, the girls to, to come out of there like that and it wouldn't hurt if you had a few blondes or redheads in there just to mix things up a little bit uh, you know because I, you know, I can't figure out what, uh, what you know, or what the Australian accent all of them have an Australian accent. I can't figure out what that's all about either. Maybe somebody can tell me I don't know, but um, so th that's what you're gonna do now last thing I won't get to is this girl with a football She's the only one that don't got a blue thing on there um, And she's got a football and she's acting like sort of like uh, well uh, When uh, my man gets home from the football game, we're gonna have a whole whole bunch of sex and everything on account of Viagra. That's the closest thing to getting it right that Viagra did, except they didn't get it right with her neither, because who the hell's going to believe that a good-looking girl like that is going to be waiting on some slob to come home with a big beer belly and he's got Cheetos all over his fingers and toes and lips, and then they're going to jump into bed and have sex. Come on now, people. Viagra Get your commercial straight. You sell a lot more. Send me a consultation fee of $5,000. And uh, that's all for a day. Jim Bob's out.